Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it's time for March and April favorites. As usual, I will link everything that I can link below in the more info bar. So if you want to check any of these products or things out, you can do so there. Um, otherwise, we're just going to jump right in. I always like to start with food and drink. So I have two things in the food and drink category this month. The first one is this. This is called True Lemon, and it is crystallized lemon powder. And so it comes in these little tiny packets, and I got this box of 100 off of Amazon. It doesn't have any calories. It doesn't have any sugar. It doesn't have anything else. It's just crystallized lemon juice, essentially. I absolutely love using this to put into my water in the morning. I have a big water cup that I use every single, pretty much every day, and I put a packet of this in there and it's just delicious. It makes me drink more water. I love it. Riley, my husband, has been using it a bunch too, and it's supposed to be that one packet equals one wedge of lemon. So if I'm feeling like I would like two wedges of lemon, I just use two of these packets. Aside from having true lemon, this company also makes the same exact thing for lime, orange, and grapefruit. So lots of different citrus options. I bought this pack off of Amazon. I couldn't find it in stores. I know it sometimes is available in stores. It wasn't available in either of the grocery stores that I've been ordering from, but I've been really, really happy with using this and I have definitely been drinking more water because of it. So true lemon, highly recommend. The next thing in my food and drink category is this hard boiled egg slicer. So it has, can you see? The idea is that you hard boil an egg, you put the egg in here, you slice it and it's in little slices. Funny enough, I don't really care for hard, hard boiled eggs. I like them on a couple of, like I like them on a cob salad, but in general, people who just like take a hard boiled egg and just eat it, my husband, it's so not for me. I really don't, the texture freaks me out. But these hard boiled egg slicers are perfect for slicing up fruit like strawberries. And I've shown this in a couple of my recent weekly vlogs, so this won't be a huge shock to you. So I will link on Amazon hard boiled egg slicers. They also make them under the marketing name of strawberry slicers and they're basically the exact same thing. There's like these heavy duty wires here and you put the strawberry in, you clamp it down and it cuts the strawberries up into perfect little slices. So this has made cutting up fruit so much easier and it's funny because typically in the mornings with breakfast I will wash a few strawberries and slice them up and eat them with breakfast but my husband can't be bothered to do that um, and so once I started doing this our strawberries have been going a lot faster because he's been eating them too so I'm gonna keep this up it's also kind of fun just pop those strawberries in and slice them up quarantine fun is different than normal fun <laughs> Moving on to makeup and beauty. I always love this category. It's probably my favorite every time. I have a couple of different things. The first thing is, um, or are these products from Bend Soap Company. I have a friend named Andrea and she sent me a basket of a whole bunch of different Bend Soap Company products when I had just had Nora as a postpartum kind of luxury bath gift. It was the best. So two of the things that I, I've loved all of it, but I'm just going to mention two right now. This is the Ben Soap Company Hint of Lavender Luxury Milk Bath. Let's get it focused. There we go. It has these little flakes of sort of like soap in there and you just pour it in your bath and it makes your bath super milky and delicious. I love it. And this is the Island Coconut Goat Milk Lotion. All of their products are super, super, super natural, which I really, really love and really gentle on your skin. And they are all amazing. I got this scrub, this peppermint scrub, and I love using that on my arms and legs. It makes them feel buttery, buttery smooth. Um, a lip balm that I really love. Um, just a, She sent me a bunch of stuff and I will definitely be repurchasing in the future. Very, very, very gentle. They kind of added um, like backstory here. It says when our dry when our son had dry, itchy, and irritated skin, we tried several natural lotions, but they all burned and irritated his skin. When we looked at the ingredients, we found so many chemicals, none of which we want on our skin. We threw them out and started Ben Soap Company with all natural goat milk soaps, lotion, and other skincare products. So this is all made in Oregon, in Bend, Oregon hence the name. Highly recommend. I will link their website below if you want to check it out. Also great to support smaller businesses during this time. As you can imagine, a lot of small businesses are not doing well. So if you are in the market for some new bathy stuff or whatever, 
you can go check them out. Also, I'm not wearing my ring today. That's not purposeful. Okay. I just forgot to wear it. Um, okay, the second thing in my makeup and beauty category is this. This is the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. I love this stuff. It's an advanced dry thermal protectant. It smells like a tropical vacation, but it's not one of those smells where you put it on your hair and all throughout the day, every time you move, you get this like whiff of perfume that you can feel shoot through your sinuses. It's not like that. I know you know what I mean. This is just a very subtle, tropical -y scent. It's really nice for the spring and summer. It definitely speeds up the quick it makes my hair dry a lot faster which i really like because i hate blow drying my hair and um it keeps my hair feeling sleeker it's a protectant i just really like it so i'll link it below if you want to check it out love this stuff love this stuff i mentioned this in a recently weekly vlog and my sister watched that weekly vlog and sent me a text message and said oh my gosh i love that kenra blow dry spray i've been using it for a long time and it works so well so you have two recommendations from both of us <laughs> The final thing in my makeup and beauty category is this Pacifica Stress Relief Face Mask. I'm going to pop in a picture of what it looks like because I used mine and I didn't think to keep the packaging, which was silly. It is amazing, amazing. I've never been a big sheet mask person, not for any particular reason. I just have not ever really used sheet masks very often. While in quarantine, I've been using one about once a week just for a little bit of checked out time from caring for my baby and my house and Etsy and everything else. And this one is amazing. It has this really cool, cooling sensation on your skin and it's like truly relaxing. And after I used it, then you rub the serum in, the next morning my skin felt really good, really hydrated. So I highly, highly recommend it. It's not overly expensive for being able to like have a moment of luxury while we're all stuck at home. So I'll link it below. In the home decor and products category, no big surprise if you've been watching my weekly vlogs, I want to share my new coffee syrup bottles. Here they are. Here's one of four. I have vanilla. I also have um, simple syrup, amaretto, and caramel. And I bought these glass bottles with the pumps off of Amazon and then I bought these really pretty waterproof custom labels off of Etsy. I will link both things below. The Etsy shop owner I mentioned, I tagged her on an Instagram story and she reached out and gave me a 10% off code for my subscribers. So I will leave that below if you're interested. Make sure to leave her a comment and let me know that I let her know that I sent you. But this is so much prettier than those giant Tarani bottles sitting on my counter. So I've been super, super happy with them. They work just fine. Um, I really like having the pump because I think it's easier to measure this, how much syrup you're putting in using the pump rather than having to free pour it. And like I said, just sitting on the counter, these the four of them sitting there, it just looks so pretty rather than these giant ones with bright red and yellow labels. So this was a really good solution to my coffee station woes, which were that I didn't like the way that it looked. So highly recommend both the glass bottles and the labels from that small company. Great, great, great. The other item in my home decor and products section this month, is, or these months, is my new Dymo, I think it's called the Dymo 4XL Labor, Label Writer. And it is the new printer that I've been using for printing shipping labels from Etsy. So I'll insert a little bit of footage if you want to see what that looks like. This thing is a beast. I absolutely love it. I had been printing the labels through my normal printer, so I had to put print like special label paper into the printer and then take it out when I needed to print normal things and it was this just kind of a logistical pain plus it would I went through a lot of ink. This Dymo label writer is really cool for two different reasons. One, it uses thermal technology to create the label so instead of having to put ink in it kind of like the way that receipts are created, it kind of burns um, the image onto the paper, but you wouldn't be able to tell. It looks just like it was printed. The second thing that's really neat is that it integrates with Etsy. So I know that this will only be relevant to a small percentage of my audience, but you're, if you are also an Etsy shop owner, this particular machine, and there's one other machine um, that integrate with Etsy. So when you're on Etsy, you can select that this is your printer and it automatically formats the shipping labels that you're printing specifically for it.
it's amazing. She's not quite awake, so we're gonna keep going. It is amazing, I absolutely love it. If you're looking for something that will print your shipping labels, love, love, love. You can buy the Dymo branded label tape for the printer, but they are, it is so, so, so expensive. Or you can buy this off-brand, and I just bought one roll of the off-brand and it worked so well, I went ahead and bought like 10 more rolls to have on stash for when I'm packaging orders. So I will link the off-brand that works perfectly. I actually prefer it because it has perforated tears in between each label and the Dymo one doesn't, so that makes it a lot easier when you're trying to sort or and things like that so anyway love it love it love it if you do a lot of mailing from home I highly recommend it it's definitely been worth the investment and I should have bought it years ago I don't know what took me so long I'm gonna go get my baby I'll be right back <laughs> because she is crying and I don't want to leave her in there crying all right here is my favorite of all time ever <laughs> this is my baby Nora she's gonna hang out with me for the rest of this video Okay, in my entertainment category this month, I have two different things. The first one, I'll, show, I'll put screenshots on the screen of these two things because they're hard to show. The first one is the Dwell app. This is an app that is, it's amazing. It allows you to listen to the Bible um, and you can choose the voice that you use and you can select different thematic scripture to listen to. So for example, there is a playlist. It's almost like as if scripture were like, like it's like Spotify for the Bible. That's the best way to describe it. It's like Spotify for the Bible. So there's like playlists that are called like, you know, peace or fall asleep or whatever. And you can click on that playlist and it puts together scripture of different um, parts of the Bible that are related to that thing. So it is really soothing during this time. I really like it. I know that there are other Bible listening apps available. I find this one to be the most user friendly and also the most and also the most inventive or creative because it really is like Spotify, the Bible on Spotify basically. I love that you can choose different themes um, and different things that you want to listen to. They have different Bible listening plans. So you can listen to the Bible in a year historically or chronologically or straight through scripture, you know, Genesis to Revelation. It's just really neat. So I'll link that below if you want to check it out. It does have a small fee each month or you can pay for it and it's really cheap if you pay for it for a year at a time. But it's just a really, I've been trying to listen to it each morning while I'm getting ready and making breakfast. It's just a nice way to start out the day. And for me right now in my life, it's a lot more feasible than sitting down and having dedicated Bible study time with a little one. That can be really challenging sometimes. Um, and so it's it's really nice to still be able to get get that kind of washed over you. She's wanting to look up and and say hey. The other thing on a completely different note is a podcast, and it's called Small Town Dicks, like Small Town Detectives, and it is great. It's great. It's hosted by Yardley Smith, who is the voice of Lisa Simpson, so that's pretty fun. And um, it, there are a couple of detectives on the show regularly, and then they bring in other detectives. They bring in 911 dispatchers, and each episode, they go through a case that these detectives have worked on, and they talk through the case from beginning to end. So from the first 911 call to investigating the crime scene, um, putting pieces together, this kind of thing, it is absolutely fascinating. I have listened, just as of last night, I listened to the most recent episode, so I'm done, <laughs> which is frustrating. I wish, oh, Charlie. Which is frustrating because I wish I had more to listen to, but I'm sure there will be new episodes coming out soon. Really highly recommended if you like true crime. I like that it's about 45 minutes to an hour, bite-sized stories, bite-sized, um, you know, just, it's great. Oh, Charlie, stop. Does anyone feel like their dog is also starting to lose it in quarantine? Because I definitely feel like Charlie it's just frustrating me more and it's just been more difficult. Like I think he's bored out of his mind too and we never leave the house and so he never has the house to himself. So we've been taking him on walks literally as much as possible. Long, long walks almost every day. But I still think he's losing it a little bit. 
All right, next up, let's talk about clothing and accessories. The first thing I want to talk about are these shoes. These are called Rothy's. I don't know if you've seen these or heard of these, if you know what I'm talking about. These are what I got like this kind of grayish brown loafer. They are made from recycled water bottles, actually, and they are so comfortable. My sister and mom have a couple of pairs of these. My sister's a photographer and she swears by wearing, they have different styles. She has a few different styles. She swears by wearing them to shoot because she thinks they're just so comfortable, but they look classy if you're at like a wedding or whatever. And my mom wears them to travel because she, she likes wearing them to travel because when she gets home, they are made from recycled water bottles and so they are totally waterproof. So you can wash them in cold water with detergent and get them clean and you know, that kind of thing. I have been hesitant even though they've been raving about them for a couple of years now because I absolutely hate wearing flats. I really find them so uncomfortable. I have kind of wide feet and with my arch and the wide, I just, I do not like wearing flats. I find them so uncomfortable, but sometimes they would be like the perfect thing to wear with my outfit and I don't want to wear big boots and I don't want to wear tennis shoes and so I would love to have flats. So I decided they had a good return policy. I decided to give them a shot. My mom gave me her referral code so I got 20 bucks off and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to give them a shot. These are so comfortable. They totally live up to the hype. They are so, so, so comfortable. I find myself sliding them on just to walk around the house because they're they are so comfortable. I absolutely love them. They give the right amount. They hold my foot the right amount. I love that I can wash them when they get dirty. They're just amazing. I definitely would like to get a few other pairs. So, so cute and comfy. These are pretty, you know, they're just like I said, they're kind of like the loafer style. They have kind of pointy toed ones. My sister and mom both have those. I'd like to get those in a fun color. They have like a hot pink or like a leopard. Really, really cute. I will leave my referral link below, which will give you $20 off of your order. So if you want to check it out and give them a shot, definitely, definitely recommend. Definitely recommend. I would wear these out on a day when I knew I was going to be doing a lot of walking or if I was traveling in an airport, I would wear these, which is saying a lot because I almost never wear anything aside from my most comfortable shoes. But these are really so comfy, so I will leave a link below to the um, to my referral link if you wanna get that $20 off. And they have free shipping and free returns from what I remember, which is why I felt comfortable getting them. I did have to get, I got a nine and a half. I normally wear well, that's not necessarily true. I was going to say I normally wear a nine, a women's nine, and I got a nine and a half, but I wore a women's nine before pregnancy. I think I'm a nine and a half now. Um, so I, th I think my feet definitely did that little pregnancy grow that people talk about. The second thing in my clothing and accessories this month is no big shock if you've been watching my um, weekly vlogs. I'm wearing one now. My Homebody Forever shirt from my Etsy shop. These come in all different colors. This is a short sleeve. They also come in long sleeve and sweatshirts. They come in you know like a berry color in a chalky mint which is like a Tiffany blue. They come in a really pretty tropical green color. They come in a purple in a gorgeous hot pink that's called Crunchberry. This is called Blue Spruce. Um, they come in gray and navy, long sleeve, short sleeve, sweatshirt, just whatever you would want. Gotta watch that she doesn't grab for that candle. <laughs> whatever you would want, they come in. And it has been my uniform. These shirts are unisex sizing, so they're a little bit oversized to begin with. Um, so you can typically order your normal women's size, and they're so comfy. They're so comfy. A lot of orders lately for the Homebody Forever shirts. These, This design came out months and months before this quarantine, um, but they've been, for obvious reasons, perfect for this time. It's just kind of a funny little design to wear. The design is embroidered, if you can't really tell. Um, I would show it to you more, but I have a baby in my lap. There you go. <laughs> um, highly recommend, highly recommend. We make each garment with love and the shirts are so comfortable. I get comments and reviews every day saying how comfortable these shirts are. So if you're hanging out at home and you need a new shirt, I recommend these Homebody Forever shirts. Right, Norny? Yeah. Um, finally, in my priceless category, although this has not been an easy time of life for anyone, um, I am so grateful for the extra family time, and so that's one thing that I'm really grateful for. Riley's around more. Nora and me and Riley get to hang out more, don't we? 
spend more family time together. I love that. I love that we've been able to be so present for her babyhood because it goes so fast. She will be six months old here in just a couple of days, and I cannot believe how quickly it's gone by. It's like so bittersweet. It's so bittersweet. She's gotten so big, and we're so proud of her, but also she's not our tiny, teeny baby anymore. Are ya? Are ya? Uh, no. The other thing that I wanted to put in my priceless category this month is um, taking long family walks. I briefly mentioned that earlier, but we have been loading up and going on long, you know, three, four, five mile walks as a family pretty often right now because it just feels so good to get outside and breathe that fresh air. And this time of year, late April, in Texas, the weather is just gorgeous. It's usually between 65 and 75 degrees every day. It's breezy, the sun is shining. Um, not every single day, but that's been pretty common. So we have just really, really enjoyed getting outside and spending that time. Nora loves being outside. She often falls asleep and naps while we are taking our walks. Charlie loves it and it's like saving my mental sanity and Riley's mental sanity. I think just being able to get outside and walk. She loves pulling mama's hair. Let's not do that. Anyway, so those are my favorites for this month. Here's my ultimate priceless favorite. My Norny bug. Yeah. So proud of her. Um, and so excited to watch her continue to grow, even though it's definitely, definitely bittersweet. So anyway, I would love to hear what you've been loving lately. What have you been up to during these quarantine times? very weird times that we're living in, aren't they? But I hope you're doing well, as well as can be expected. Let me know what you've been loving lately. Drop me a comment below. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys.